Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we'll be doing a complete walkthrough of the Maths Paper 3 and this is from the Key Stage 2 2018 SAS, i.e. the National Curriculum Test. So if you guys have seen my previous videos, well then you know what to expect. I'll be going through every question step by step. For you guys new out there, please check out my other videos and um, leave a comment, a like and definitely share with your friends and of course subscribe because I've got a bunch of other videos. I've got loads of uh, practice math questions and I've also got um, some English papers which I've worked on and may include science from the near future. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. So as usual, you cannot use any calculator for any type of test for Key Stage 2 Maths. Um, you've got 40 minutes to answer and every answer, at least your final answer, must be in a white box. You can show you're working out into these um, squares here or, you know, to be honest, I do outside the box. But for the exam, please do inside. The, the pink box here anyway my marks are given and that's fine but otherwise let's start with question one okay so the numbers in the sequence increase by the same amount each time so they tell you they increase by the same amount so it's, so it could be a plus something every time so write down the missing numbers so you can see you got 42 and 49 so this seems to have gone up by plus seven so this means, and because we know increase by the same amount, i.e. plus 7, we can just add 7 across. So 49 add 7 will give us 56, and then 63 add 7 will give us 70. You realize that this is literally the 7 times table, guys. So if you can, if you already spotted that, seriously, give yourself a pat on the back and just write 2 already. <laughs> but anyway, for the first box here, um, you got to go back 7 as well. So this would be 35. Okay, number 2. So Adam chooses the colors for a new team shirt. Okay, the shirt has two colors. So, so far it looks white and gray. <laughs> I don't know any football clubs like that. There are four colors to choose from, yellow, blue, white, or red. So let's keep this in mind. The shirts could be yellow and blue, yellow and white, yellow and red, blue and white. So it wants us to write two missing combinations. So just think what is missing. So they start with yellow, yellow blue, yellow blue, yellow white, yellow red. So yellows are done. Blue and white. They also can do blue and red. So let's write blue and red. And then you ask yourself, only one color is missing. So you move on to red. So what else do we have? Red. They did. We've already seen red and yellow, red and blue. There must be then red and white. So put white over here. So that's it. Combinations. Okay, number three. Here are four number cards, two, three, four, and seven. So Layla uses each card once to make a four digit number. Okay, so before we start, always label this as units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, but well, I'm sure you guys already know that. So she places four into the tens column. So four in the tens column would mean over here. Two, she places the number two so that it has a high value than any of the other digits. So, that, so the highest value 2 could be in the thousands column. So it's still here. And she placed the remaining two digits so that 7 has the high value. So if 7 has a high value of the two box, it has to be the hundreds. Meaning the final digit is going to be 3. So actually, she didn't really do much. She just swapped the 3 and the 7 round. Okay, number 4, guys. So write the three missing digits to make this addition correct. Oof, okay, I love this. So we always start from the right side, yeah? Always start from the units and then move across that way. So first things first, nine plus something is gonna give us a six. So the only thing I can think of is to make nine plus something give us 16, so carry the one across. So nine plus seven will give us 16, carry the one. Now one plus something plus two will give us seven. So one plus two is three. If you add four more, you'll get seven. And of course, no remainders. Next is two add four, six, so that checks out. 3 plus 7 is, is 10, so it's 0, and you've got 1, so that will give us 10. And then 1 plus 5 will give us 6, so that is our final answer. Okay, 5. So, so far it's been easy. Tick the numbers that are common factors of both 12 and 18. So, what this means is that both uh, any numbers below 12 and 18 should be divisible by 12 and 18. So, for example, if you look at them, they're both even numbers, so they both are in the 2 times table. So we take two, they're also both in the three times table. They both appear in the six times table. Only 18 appears in the nine, so it doesn't count. And only 12 appears in well, the 12s. So it should be the first three boxes. 